Yo, 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 it's your boy Big Red. Just making this video because I came across something and I thought maybe it would help you guys out. Um, I apologize for my voice, just getting over a cold. And, uh, it's a little bit raspy still. So if you could bear with me, I appreciate it. Anyways, this video is all about No Man's Sky and basically modding your save, modding your PS4 save uh, to be more specific. Uh, with a save editor. Um, I know, you know, you could do it with Save Wizard, which you're going to need for this process. Um, but you're, you're pretty limited to what you could do with Save Wizard. So I wanted to figure out a way um, that I could basically use my PS4 save with a PC save editor. I know it's complicated, but here, just follow me on this journey. So at the end of it, basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to transfer my PS4 save to my PS5, which I did. Um, but the only downside to that, for all of you out there thinking you can do this with a PS4 to the PS5, once you transfer your saves to the PS5, it deletes whatever save you already have on your PS5. So be warned, if you try to make the transfer from your PS4 to your PS5, it's going to delete all of your saves on the PS5 so be careful but anyways let's get into it so if you're at this video you probably already know um, with the ps4 you can save your files you can save your save files to a usb you can plug it in your computer import it to save wizard mess with it save it pop it back in you're ready to rock but here we go with this so i got my usb in this is my usb i got my ps4 folder uh, so what we're going to do is when you have your PS4, you're going to make a PS4 folder on the USB. As you can see right here, it's just the regular USB stick. Um, and when you create that folder and you put a save in there, it's going to create all the rest of this. So this video, this video isn't to show you how to use Save Wizard. If you need assistance with that, feel free to hit me up, leave a comment, and I can make a video with that. Hopefully my voice is better by then. But anyways, so we're going into Save Wizard and... For me on the, in Canada, so the North American side, we're looking at CUSA 04841. So that's my No Man's Sky folder. As you can see, I got a few saves in here. You know, creative, normal, permadeath, survival. And I'm currently working on, well, I'm currently playing uh, the expedition, the Utopia expedition uh, with that fractal update. And it's pretty crazy. So hypothetically, we're going to assume that you already have your save on the usb and you're now looking at it we're at that step again if you need help with save wizard shoot me a message drop a comment hit me with a like um if you want to subscribe cool but i don't make videos this isn't what i do um i just spent a couple of days working on this and i wanted to share it with you guys because i couldn't find any information out there but drop a comment and i can make a video about save wizard all right so here we go so we got our USB in, we're right here. And these are all my, as I said, No Man's Sky save files. So we're gonna open up Save Wizard. Now, Save Wizard is a paid app. Um, in my opinion, it was 100% worth it. I bought it maybe two, three years ago and uh, haven't looked back since. So we're in Save Wizard, cool. So you can see my No Man's Sky right here. So we're gonna double click and then it pops open all my saves. Basically the same shit that's in here minus the bin file. It doesn't show you the bin file or the memory. But these are your saves. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to hit advanced mode. And this is going to take us deep into the file. Um, not your usual save wizard where it's like, oh, unlimited money, limited items. No, we're going to dive deep into it right here. So once this loads, again, I apologize for my voice. Hopefully this video turns out, because like I said, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not a streamer. So if it sounds like shit, if it looks like shit, I apologize. Anyways, let's get into it. So this is what pops up once you go into advanced mode. All right. So this is a bunch of, you know, matrix stuff. I don't understand any of this, but you don't need to. So I'm going to provide a link in the the chat or in the description whatever the hell it is uh where you can download the no man's sky save editor all right um i've already downloaded it everything's lovely 
Uh, but either way, I'm going to provide you guys with a link so you can download it. Um, so anyways, we're back here. All right. What we got to do is we need to hit export. All right. So we need to export this file. Export. As you can see, I've already saved it. So we're, I'm not going to save it again, but this is, you know, make yourself a folder, put it on your desktop, whatever you feel like doing with it. It's an HG file, um, but you're going to want to export that file. All right. So again, we're assuming, well, we're not assuming I already have exported it, so I don't need to do it again. Um, so here we go. So let's cancel that. So once you've exported it, you're going to end up with your HG file. All right. Let's just say it's, it's 10. It's yours is probably going to have a different save number. Could be one, two, three, whatever it is. This is your save data. So again, once you go to, um, I'm going to see if I can pull this up real quick. This is a, this is a, such an unprofessional video, but as I said, I'm not a YouTuber, so I could care less. Um, Hey, if you like it, hit me with a like, if you don't like it, hit me with a dislike. At least you're interacting. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to pull up this um website for you right now the one that i'm going to leave in the description anyways um where you can download the no man's sky save editor uh i can't find it so i'm not even gonna bother but i will leave the link so all you gotta just gotta do is click on it download it you're ready to rock so where is the folder with the no man's sky save editor so let's open this let's go into my documents let's open that in the new window open on my second monitor uh we're going ps4 saves no man's sky save editor see i already have it saved so you, once you guys have yours downloaded you're gonna have this as well uh so i'm looking on this it's a executable jar file um so you're gonna have to update java or download java whatever it is um, but again with the link provided it's gonna take you through all that madness but if it's not clear, make sure you get Java or update your Java. Either way, let's click on it. Bang. And this is what you're left with. This is what it's going to bring up. This is the main page of the No Man's Sky editor, right? Remember, we downloaded our HG file. So what we're going to do is go to File, Open File. And there they are, right there. Those are our save files. So let's open Data 10. Because that's the one that we just, you know, exported from Save Wizard. Again, you need these both. This is how this works. All right, so we're going to open that. That's fine. So, as you can see, this is my information, right? This is the save file. Boom, it makes a backup as it goes along. It's all gravy. I have a couple in here. All right, so what we're going to do is go through it. You got your exosuit. So this is, you know, this is your, I wonder if I can full screen. Perfect. Look at that. Bang. So all these white ones are open slots in your exosuit. All these grayed out ones are locked. And you know how you play the game. You hit up the space stations or you find one of those pods and you, you get one upgrade. And one upgrade will unlock one of these. Boom. Just like that. What we're going to do is right click on it and we're going to go enable all slots. Boom. So now all of these slots are open. So once you go back into your game, you could be, this could be literally, you could be in the first three minutes of the game and you can do this process and you're good to go. You got all your slots unlocked right now. Boom. You can do the same thing with your ship. Same thing. Right click, enable all slots. Boom. Uh, so let's go back to the exosuit. All right. So this is the general tab. You got your technology. This is you know your technologies on your ship let's enable all of those as well and then you got your cargo look at that the cargo is completely locked because this is at the very beginning of the game this is a brand new save because i wanted to give you guys a proper example so let's right click enable all boom let's go back to actually since i'm here i'm going to make a good point when you get to this step your technology is obviously your technology that's where your jetpack your life support your protection your thermal protection all that fun stuff goes now, I know it says cargo, but you don't want to put anything in cargo because it doesn't show up. So you want to go to general, and this is where you want to put all of your goodies. All right. So as you can see, this ion battery, I got five out of 200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to fill that stack. Boom. Now I got 200 out of 200. Let's click add item. Again, we're in our exosuit, right? We're going to add an item. 
we're gonna go to the type i mean you can do the search if you know what you're looking for but i like to peruse so i'm gonna peruse so not technology because that's the other slot let's go to a substance let's go to fuel let's go to carbon because you always need carbon in this game save it look at that max carbon add an item what else do you need oxygen boom right and you can literally fill this whole thing up whatever you want to do with it you do with it let's add another item let's go to exotic look at that gold bang and you can literally add as many as you want right i can fill this whole thing with, with gold we're not going to do that this is just an example but you understand what i'm saying um you can change your ship the health uh, what i do is i hit nine just keep hitting nines and then skip it boom and it'll it'll go right to the max whatever you put it at it'll bounce it right to the max your units you want to edit that loot because i know with save wizard it literally gives you i think just under a billion this method you get 4.2 billion so we're going to hold nines again right and then we're going to skip see 4.29 billion you're going to do the same thing for your nanites right you're going to do the same thing for your quicksilver right bang so now we got max everything now this isn't really a video on the program this is more of a video just to get it work with the playstation again if you guys want a video with me deep diving on the save editor it's a great save editor uh just leave a comment and i'll do exactly that no problem at all um but let's keep it moving so same thing you can add this is your multi-tool right multi-tool actually let's go yeah multi-tool is perfect so you can name your multi-tool whatever you want it to be right let's just name it uh let's name it youtube because that's where this video is going youtube right boom now the name of my multi-tool is going to be youtube change it to a royal or a standard your class you can make it you can start off with an s class multi-tool if you want so let's just do that just for shits and giggles um this seed right here this is if you want to share uh the weapon that you created but we didn't we ain't got to get into that like i said if you want to deep dive on the program let me know we'll make it happen um but you can do all the same thing with the nines right as an example bang max out all your shit um all right so let's go to ships we're already here but same thing you can add whatever you want to add you want to add more gold bang add more gold but remember don't mess with the white i'm not gonna get into it if you guys want a video on it let me know we'll make it happen um so vehicles companions space storage discovery this is a great tab too i'm not going to get too deep into it too, but you can unlock all gifts you can learn every language whatever you want to do like i said you guys want it you let me know i'll make it um all right so we've messed with the program we're ready to rock we're going back to the main okay what you're going to do is you're going to hit save changes okay this is gonna boom save your change just like that just like that um and now you're saved so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this this is the save that we just saved that's a lot of saves but this is what we're talking about okay so we're going back in the save wizard we still have this open we're still in advanced mode of our save what we're going to do is we're going to hit import right here import it we're going to select it and then we're going to toss it in there i'm not going to do it because i got things going on on this usb already i'm not going to mess with my save but this is what you do you just open it right and when you open it uh, i wonder if hold on let me think here okay so let's open it bang and it shifts a few things in here it shifts the matrix num matrix numbers to make it work with what you've just done in the in the save editor if you hit apply it's going to go through the process and apply that to your save within save wizard so i'm not going to do that because like i said i'm not trying to mess with my saves so let's close it and then you just close out of this you don't even have to resign it and nothing you're already good to go so you do your usual uh save wizard stuff you just say you just quit out of there you've already saved it you've imported you've exported you've done all types of good stuff all right so you could just close that out and i honestly wish i had my playstation connected to my computer unfortunately i cannot show you but take my word for it it 100 works i spent a whole day googling on youtube's googling on google googling everywhere facebook's all that stuff to try and figure out how i can do this because i'm like i mean i can play it on my pc i have a good pc but i like to kick it on the couch when i'm rocking video games so i needed to figure it out 
Um, unfortunately, I was able to because, like I said, I wasn't happy with the uh, the amount of mods available on Save Wizard. I think the only thing on Save Wizard is max currency. I believe that's all it is. Whereas with this, now you can really do a deep dive. So as I said, follow that process. If you need to rewind and watch it again, give it a rewind. If you liked it, hit me with a like. Let me know you liked it. If you want more information on Save Wizard, Save Editor, whatever you want to do, leave me a comment. And uh, we'll see if we can make it happen for you guys. Uh, like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. I am not a streamer. Um, so I apologize if this video is shit, but hey, it is what it is. Hopefully that information helped you guys out. Uh, be safe out there and uh, have fun, traveler.